this morning here on Lake Lanier. And uh, even though this won't get aired till probably February, <laughs> for me it's almost, well it's not almost, but it's December the 4th, I think, yes. And my favorite client, Trisha, brought me this paper towel holder. Took off the little knob that goes up top to, so I can paint it. And it's very cute as it is, but she wants me to do my thing to it. And it's actually gonna be a little different. I have not done this yet for my uh, projects. And I've gotta call my daughter Kimmy Schwimmy so she can name what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's a different color and a little different method. method. So I thought I would video this to show you that I can do something else too. Um, first, well, first I gotta clean it with alcohol. But I need to get the top off the primer because I have to, I've got to prime this glass um, just because I think I need to. <laughs> and by the time you see this, I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Christmas, New Year's. But yeah, I clean, I clean everything pretty much with alcohol before I start painting it. And it gets any dirt, oils, fingerprints, so that the paint will adhere to the glass. <laughs> he just wanted me to break this thing. Uh, I had to kind of jury rig, what I call jury rig, a way to uh, hold this while it dries. And I didn't want to paint it up there because I, I was afraid I'd get paint on the where the paper towel goes. So anyway, alcohol and I put I wear gloves so that if I touch it, it doesn't get my fingerprints. But I, I put that, I've got this, oh I don't know if I can show you. Um, it's just my ribbon <laughs> that had a hole uh, big enough for this little piece of cardboard to go in and I could rest this in while it dries. So I'm always, I'm a problem solver. And I, I figure out how to do things. And actually I touched that with my hands again. So I need to wipe it off. Um, yeah, it's really important to get your fingerprints and skin oils that we have. Uh, okay, there, now. It's all clean and just rubbing alcohol. Um, there, that's done. Then I'm going to put on the primer. Of course, always Kills 2 from Home Depot. And uh, sometimes I don't, um, I don't prime glass, but when it's not clear glass and it's got a darker some of the dark on it that I don't want to show through when I do what I do um, I put on a primer and I'll put on a base coat and I might use an acrylic color for the base coat I just got to be really careful not to get the paint on the wood part and I did one little speck over here but I'll get it off there um so primer and once I do this I have to go <laughs> and let it dry before I can put on the base coat And I'll get my little turntable out. I don't have it out. Uh, I put it away. Um, let me see here. I need to get a little brush to get that piece, little speck of paint off. Hold on. And I always need to have my trusty, trusty Q-tips around, but let me see if I can get this little speck off with this little slanted brush. 
and that did it. Okay, so now, uh, I think I've got this on here, probably. Okay, see, primer. And now, the little ball. And I probably should get a smaller brush to do this sometimes. I don't think things through, especially when I'm filming. <laughs> and trying to show you what I do. Oh boy. And there's a silver. You know what? I'm gonna paint over it because I'm gonna turn it to gold anyway. It's gonna be gold. It's gonna, I was gonna try to not paint over the silver, but going to change that and it made it easier for me I don't have to worry about it okay now I have to keep swirling around to get it all smooth okay I think that's it so, <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to get this back on there. Um, with, well, I'm just going to have to get stuff on, get paint on me. And I don't have a glove on this hand. You know, sometimes I'm a comedy of errors. Um, uh, well, you know what? I'm going to touch it. I'm going to touch it. Oh, and it's slippery. And folks, this is what I do sometimes mess up <laughs> but you know what I always say it's not fatal I can always fix it all right I got that fixed and I gotta fix this side and where I touched it up there okay folks voila it's not fatal ever okay i have to let all this dry then i'll come back and put on the base coat and then i'll start gritting out my design and then i'll get to show you this new little color thing that i do so have a great day and it's goodbye from beautiful lake lanier Bye-bye. Hello. Today I'm going to finish a project I started a little while ago for my friend Trisha. It's a Christmas present for her mother. And it's a paper towel holder that, uh, you know, a paper towel fits on. And she loves a whole different color thingy <laughs> that I do. And once again, I've got to get Kimmy to name what this is. I don't know what to call it but you will see I'm using four colors uh, buttermilk putty desert turquoise and honey brown and the way I do it is I put out the four colors on a card piece of cardboard and just Tip my brush in kind of each color um, and it depends on whether I want it to have the turquoise in it or what. I, I'm just going to try a spray and see what happens and then I'm going to put it up close where you can see what I'm doing. Let's see how this is going to work. And I 
just keep going until I get what I want. Okay, let's see here. to start all right I don't know if you can see but I'm gonna bring the camera up close where you can see better and I've got to get a grip on this a little bit better I'm not really happy the way that turned out but nothing's fatal Lick my Q-tip and get that little bit off that I want there. Okay. A very famous artist, Ed Heck in New York City, he licks his brushes, so I'm assuming I can lick my Q-tips too. Uh, it's just so much easier. That means my DNA is all over everything I paint, so I better be good and not get in trouble, right? All right, I'm gonna move the camera.
Well, I'm redoing a little voiceover here over what I just <laughs> recorded in this video because I misunderstood Kimmy Schwimmy when she named these squares. They are now called the Sumptuous Squares. So my new collection of this type will be the Sumptuous, whereas my black and white is the Royal. So you can have either one. And that's the story. Thanks to Kimmy Schwimmy. Bye-bye.